Bismillah, in this bonus video, I would like to share with you one uh, particular case uh, in which we can actually take uh, uh, reminders of here. Yeah? So, do you know that uh, there are special people who processes sensory information in unusual ways? For example, Tario Camareno, uh, who is a pastry chef, experiences music, colors, shapes and emotion as this. Do you actually understand that, right? So this is a very unique case. It's a very interesting case. You know, imagine, uh, which we cannot really imagine, but try to, you know, this is the description. Eh? So when Taria Camerino uh, see a color, when, they, when she sees yellow, for example, she can practically taste the sourness of yellow, something like that. Okay. When she hears a certain music, she can actually you know, taste the bitterness of the certain music, let's say for example, okay, it doesn't make sense to us, but this is what actually happened to Taria Camareno, okay, so her condition is called uh, a disorder, eh? this is actually a type of disorder called synesthesia, a uh, means joint sensation, okay, it is a condition which signals from various sensory organs are processed in the wrong cortical areas, meaning to say that the connection Okay, between the sensory organ for her case, okay, her eyes, her touch and her ears for example, the neurons are connected and then is targeted at a different part of the brain. Remember that certain part of the brain in the cortex area processes certain stuff, right? Okay, like macam occipital low, process visual information and etc. So the neuron connected to the brain there is a bit messed up, it's a bit jumbled up. Okay, meaning to say that there's their joint sensation. There's some some uh, mixing up there. Okay, uh, he, she was you know destined for that. So there was a mixing up there. So this mixing up of you know uh, neurons connected to different uh, ataupun uh, not supposed to cortical areas in the brain is called synesthesia, resulting in the information being interpreted as more than one sensation. Like for us normally. We see th stuff, okay. So the light enters our eyes and is connected to all the neurons, and all the neurons uh, more targeted to the occipital lobe, and therefore we really couldn't taste what we see. But for her, the neurons are also, uh, you know, connected to the different parts of the brain that also processes taste as well. Even though she sees stuff, okay, but it is also connected to uh, different parts of the brain there. So. You know, be really thankful that, you know, our brain makeup is actually, you know, normal to a certain extent that we don't jumble up there. Okay. Uh, however, uh, you know, it's a struggle for her, definitely. But, you know, partially as well in her life, uh, she also make the, uh, the, the best use of her situation as well. Okay. Like she became a pastry chef. So imagine uh, the way she actually uh, tastes is something beyond a normal person can actually do. Uh, okay, so she can actually taste more than, you know, what they normal do, which probably enhances her ability to actually create unique flavors and stuff like that, that made her to a better pastry chef. Okay, so there are pros and cons there, okay, in particular there, but of course, you know, as a reflection, number one, we are grateful for, you know, the brain wiring, the neuronal wiring that we have right now is not messed up. That's number one. Number two lessons is that whatever, you know, disorders or whatever things that is unusual about you, you know, you take the best use of it, okay? You actually make the best use of it just like how Taria Camerino actually did with her situation of uh, synesthesia.